Hello everyone, my name is Gerardo Gamber, and welcome back to Diablo 2. I figured in honor of celebrating the announcement for the release next year of the Necromancer, the re-release, I should say, for Diablo 3, we're gonna play a little bit of Diablo 2 and just remember the memories. Ooh, the memories! I'm on fire! I remembered. I remembered. Oh, Good day. Uh, the Necromancer was the first character Good. I played when Diablo 2 came out. Um, I can't do that here. I wanted to play a character that was, I don't know, like a polar opposite of all the other heroes. The Necromancer in this game is not evil. I am you have to understand. But he does use death domain magic. Something that the demons don't quite possess in this game series. Hi there. As definitely an inspiration for Arthas the Lich King in many respects. I can't tell you which game came out first, but they both kind of put influence in each other's hands here and there. Um, so, the cool thing about the Necromancer is that he has the ability to summon a shitload of minions. Uh, other than the druid, he was, you know, a character that could do that. All who oppose me, beware. All who oppose me, beware. He is a really good voice actor. Um, and he's a really fun character to play. I normally go a high strength, high intelligence necromancer. Probably not the best way to go, but... I'm definitely going to go a, a little bit of a different build this time around. I'm going to go full minions. Minions are kind of shit late game. I forgot, I can only summon one minion. Uh, get him, skeleton. Only summon one minion at a time. Wow, we already got a jewel. Uh, until I level up, that is. I don't need to use that line. Diablo 2 is a really good game. I, and I think mostly the nostalgia about it. Like, it's slow-paced. No rush, really. I love the pacing. I love the pacing of this. It's just calm and nice. For some reason, the music isn't playing. I don't know why that is. Why? Sound. Yeah, <laughs> music is just really low, apparently. Okay. That doesn't matter, I don't care. It's enjoyable. It's enjoyable. So what are we going to be able to see? How do I stop sprinting again? I forgot. I forgot how to turn off sprinting. What? Oh, man, I, I don't remember this. Configure controls. Um, toggle, run, walk, R. Ah, okay, okay. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. I had trouble remembering that. That's always fun, getting back into a game and not remembering shit. What can we expect from the new Necromancer? The re-envisioning of the Necromancer. Well, definitely minion summoning, and a lot of his trademark abilities, in addition, are back. Um, from what they showed in the trailer, they showed the ability to use the teeth and bone javelin spells, corpse explosion, which is definitely one of the strongest spells he has outside of Poison Nova. Um, so I'm happy to see those return. And a new feature to make him really different than the Witch Doctor. I always wanted them to add the Necromancer to Diablo 3, but I was upset because they had the Witch Doctor, and their reasons originally were, we have the Witch Doctor that we created. We feel, in a way, he's better than the Necromancer from D2. And it's like, no, he's not. He's definitely not. The Necromancer had a certain quality about him that the Witch Doctor just doesn't have. So... What's the big difference between the minions for the Necromancer coming out and the Witch Doctor that's currently available? Well, in D3, you can command your minions to attack. Something that the Witch Doctor doesn't really get to do. 
And I would also imagine golems will be a part of that, because Necromancer gets golems in this game, something that uh, the other characters, the, the uh, Witch Doctor does not get. He gets a giant, you know, gargantuan, but that's not a fucking golem. Um, so, we need to learn a spell. I need to actually learn Skeleton, raise Skeleton, so... It's now considered level 2. The only reason we have a point in it is because our wand gives us that. Which is good. I mean, starting out with an item that gives you... Whoops, I used a potion I didn't mean to. Um, starting out with an item that gives you an ability is a good way to go. We're gonna go as Summon Lancer, even though it's... Although it's the most fun way to play him, um definitely falls off at the end of the game. Uh, the problem was that towards the end, I'm going to show you his skills here again. Um, the problem is towards the end of Diablo 2's expansions, like literally at the end of it, they added in all these like synergy bonuses. So receives bonuses from. These are very important. About the biggest thing that really helps him out is his golems. The fire golem is immensely powerful. The blood golem is immensely powerful. Um, iron golem was a good thing. Unfortunately, it was a wasted skill because it requires items. Yeah, it can help out if you have a lot of extra items on hand, but eventually you're just going to run into situations where you have shit golems that you're creating, so it's best to just put points into fire or blood. Um... Minions are cool, they, they, they are strong for the most part, and then towards the end of the higher difficulties, it becomes impossible to keep your minions alive. Unless you were granted really good items that gives you tons of bonuses to things. Uh, in that case, you know, like, finding thing gives you, like, a plus five to summon resist. It means that's five extra levels you don't have to spend on summon resist. Um, is poison and bone spells, they hit really hard, especially poison nova. And, yeah, I mean, there's going to be an enemy that's immune to poison at some point. I believe his bone spells do, like, true damage, though. Or magic damage, it says now. Hmm. I don't remember it saying magic damage. Whatever. I know there's very few enemies with resistance to that. So those are still useful late game, but they don't hit very hard. And that's the disadvantage he has there. Ultimately, the Necromancer basically was just a... Um, hey, I'm gonna use curses. Now, this is the problem. You notice there's no synergy bonuses with his curses. They didn't give him any synergy bonuses whatsoever with curses. I get it. They're powerful. But this was the only way to play him towards the end of, you know, the expansions. It, it, everything else was just not enough. His poison got kind of ridiculous, though. And I, I still have a place in my heart for it. So we're gonna go primarily summon here with some poison bone spells. Um, only because I miss playing the classic Necromancer. <laughs> I miss the Age of Innocence where I didn't have to worry about min-maxing the shit out of the endgame. But I'm not making this a series unless, you know, enough people say, hey, I wanna, I wanna see you play Diablo 2 more. I still have some videos on the Druid that I didn't release. I'm thinking about releasing them but there were other games, more pertinent, you know, releases and things like that, and frankly speaking, I didn't know if this was entertaining. I mean, do you find this entertaining? I like playing the game, but I don't know if it's entertaining enough to merit, you know, a full-blown series. Um, you know, Necromancer is, is a good character, it's just, he's, compared to a lot of the other characters in the game, he's not that powerful. Uh, more so because of the synergies. Before they added the synergies, he was on par with the wizard. And now it's just like, well, why why play a necromancer when you can play a wizard? Uh, sorry, me, uh, yeah, sorceress, sorceress, the sorceress, not the wizard. <laughs> I think the new necromancer in Diablo 3 is going to be immensely powerful. In fact, I dare say, I think he's going to end up being overpowered. Now, the only reason I say that is because when they built the Crusader... They built him off of a niche that didn't exist yet 
a really heavy tank protective kind of character with a lot of support abilities. And although I play a damaged, you know, Crusader, Crit Sader, as I like to call him, um, you know, even so, it's still a highly defensible character no matter what you build. So, Necromancer is the original that his entire foundation is built on a class that didn't exist for Diablo 3. And although the Witch Doctor had some similar abilities, similar looking does not mean is the same. The, the Witch Doctor is nothing like the Necromancer. It's kind of funny too, Blizzard makes a stab at their, um... They make a stab at the Witch Doctor, saying that the Witch Doctor is more lighthearted. And that's very true. The Witch Doctor's abilities, his spells, come from a very playful aspect of the art. And the Necromancer draws literally into death itself, and his powers are very inane and wrong. They are... I mean, I guess you, they're not evil, but to the world of living, they are... Uh, and that's the thing about the Necromancer. He, these priests, they have tapped into energies that nothing else dares to tap into or has the ability to tap into. So, he's going to fit a very interesting niche in the game, I think. Um, he's definitely going to... Why are we putting points in energy? We barely have... You know what? Let's give ourselves bone armor, because that's how it's going to help us out. Um... F1, F2. Okay. Bone armor is always good. It doesn't matter. It absorbs 20 damage, so... It's always, you know, 20 damage we can absorb. This is definitely something you want to put points into, to a certain degree. Even if it's at 100 damage, that is useful. It's very much useful for us. But... I think in most of our points in bone and, uh poison spells is going to go straight into okay, die. Uh, it's going to go straight into poison nova um, put a good deal of points into bone armor because again I'm stressing how useful it is I'm not trying to underplay it at all uh, when I was younger I didn't realize how useful bone armor was if anything that definitely gives him an edge um, although he might fall short because of the synergies um, he definitely still has the ability to absorb direct damage, and having enough mana to do so gives him the, that, you know, opportunity to survive. Um, I'm definitely going to say that the Bone Armor skill will be returning. There's no way they wouldn't give it to him. Uh, there's plenty of characters that get shields. Uh, the wizard gets a shield in Diablo 3, so expect to see that. See, they've already killed him, so this is the beginning of the game, but nonetheless, you know, that literally is an indicator of what's going to happen in my game. Until I can get an overwhelming number of minions, you're not going to see my skeletons in much of anything. five. I can't carry any more. can't carry any of that, which is always lovely. Uh, I'm going to identify, because we don't have Deck of Cain yet. Yeah. Good Cain! Four to seven. Uh, let's put this glove here. Definitely equip the gloves. That's really good, but it will run out, which is the only unfortunate part. God, I miss this game. <laughs> I really do. I love this game so much, and I have it now, so I should play it more, right? I should mention the Necromancer also has the ability to revive a monster in this game. Revives a monster, returns it to life to fight by my side. Um, this is a really good thing because you can have your skeletons, you can have a golem, and then you can, you know, basically resurrect a monster. Not every monster can be resurrected, but you can resurrect a good deal of them. So let's say I was fighting one of these Wendigos here, I could actually bring that to life and it would fight for me with its abilities and all that stuff. If it's a creature with notable abilities, 
like the ability to, oh, I don't know, root something in place or shoot magic, that creature is insanely valuable to the Necromancer for the time that it's summoned. I believe the summons have a limited, uh, limited period of time in which they can be around. Um, will this ability be returning to Diablo free? I don't know. I don't know. I, I would like to see it, but I don't know how that game's going to do that. I mean, there's already some creatures that follow the Witch Doctor and the um, Demon Hunter. But how would they do a thing where... That quest finished. Is that enough to earn the world's trust? I think she gives me a skill point, if I remember correctly. Um, so how would they do a thing where you get any random thing that you've killed to follow you? Wouldn't that be a little bit overpowered in Diablo 3? Only because there's so many more creatures that have abilities and spells and things like that that they can use. Like, spiders like to slow something down with a whip. Or you've got those um, winged hell creatures that throw fireballs and lay curses on the ground. The succubus have, like, homing fucking balls of energy. How would these creatures act, you know, how, how would they build up the Necromancer's abilities? That's what I mean, because everything in Diablo 3 is a build-up. Everything. You have runes for your abilities, and each rune adds something new to the mix. So what exactly would happen with the summon, you know, revive creature ability in that game? I'm oh. not sure that will be returning. Greetings. I could care less. Um... It's a fun ability in this game, but I'm not sure it has a place in Diablo 3. However, there's a lot... I don't have enough gold. Of course I don't have enough gold. I want to use these, but I don't have enough of anything to use it. Sell these potions, because why not? Um, can I... Tend to attack ring? That's not bad. Have enough? Yes, just enough. Okay. Until we get Deckard Cain, we have the Tome of Identify. Nothing says I can't still have the Tome of Identify with, you know, Deckard Cain, but I always like to get rid of it because it just takes up room, and I would rather Welcome. spend my points. I would rather, sorry, have room for the, um,. Awesome, 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 awesome charms that they added to the game, which make your character even more powerful. They're kind of like the Paragon levels in the new game. That's really what they are. Um, and we have three skeletons we can summon, which is beneficial to our cause. Do I need to mention how excited I am for the transmogrification for the Necromancer? There's a lot of cool-looking items and weapons in the game. They're also adding scythes to the game. This means that there might be Malphael scythes. There is a weapon that's very similar uh i think it it may actually even be his scythe i'm not sure but there is a sword a two-handed sword that's very similar to malfail's scythe but nonetheless there's a lot of inspiration for how the scythe is going to look in diablo 3 for the necromancer's uses there are a bunch of these new weapons coming out and legendaries too. They're, they they announced legendaries for the Necromancer. They didn't say what they're going to be just yet, unless you know they're saying them now, and I just haven't looked that up yet. But the information's all new. Um, and on top of that, his armor is very similar to the armor he gets in this game. In fact, they even showed the Bone Shield is making a return, and it's going to be one of his items. You know, like I don't know if it's going to be exclusive to him but the appearance is exclusive to him. So that's really cool looking. Um, I always loved using the bone shield in this game with the Necromancer, because it really fits him. Sometimes I'd, I'd you use a, uh, a two-handed weapon, a scythe, because it has a lot of gem slots, or a crystal sword. Uh, again, a lot of gem slots and a powerful weapon by itself. Um, on top of that, hey Flavi, hey, how you she is the greatest archer in the game. She's always standing here killing things. 
They need to put her back in the game. She needs to be a fucking hero. <laughs> you, like, run into her. She's just one-shotting demons. I have more experience than anyone. Kind of sound like a few more fucking pain there. Hello, stay a while and listen. I don't know. Um, but yeah, like, I'm excited. I'm excited for this character class to return. And meanwhile, I'm sweating my whistle with Diablo 2. In many ways, Diablo 2 is superior to Diablo 3. What do I like about Diablo 3? Well, endless hours of fun merits endless hours of experience. It's plain and simple. It's infinite levels. Infinite levels makes the game more fun. Diablo 2 doesn't have infinite levels. There are so many skill points you can get in the game, and that's it. Um... God given, it's very hard to reach max level. I never reached max level on any of my characters, and I've played at least three different characters. Um, I've, I mean, obviously, I've tried them all. I've played the Necromancer to the end. I've played um, the Druid through several different game modes, uh, starting from normal all the way to this far as I can go. Uh, the Lord of Ghosts is amazing and powerful. Uh, there's an argument to be said about whether or not the um, the bear is better, but the bear gives you more defenses, the werewolf gives you more attack, and I like the werewolf better anyways, but um, to each his own. That is a mana recharge shrine, although that would be nice. I'm not really using my mana really much. And I can do that. I should be doing whenever I get a chance. I always forget to do it because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> That's the problem with Bone Shield. Bone Shield's worthless if you forget to actually activate it. So always remember to do that. I think that'd be impossible to forget in Diablo 3 because it handles very much like World of Warcraft in many respects. You are constantly reminded to use your abilities if they're on the Exploded. Wasn't enough to hurt me. Because this shield absorbs 20 damage. Um, I'm going to scroll of identify. And see, the skeletons definitely have their use in this game. It's just late game, late game. It becomes painfully evident that they're not that useful, especially if you run out of corpses. Cor corpses eventually uh, vanish on the map. Um, and if you keep dying over and over to a boss, eventually there's not going to be anything left either because you cleaned it all up or they just cease to exist. I need a key. I didn't realize that the soldiers uh, don't Plenty of bodies, plenty of bodies. That's what I love about the Necromancer, though. He turns the fall of his enemy into his advantage. What does the skill shrine do again? Ah, oh, that's right. It raises my, uh... Yeah. Four skeletons total. Doesn't actually work with the Necromancer. Just... Rather unfortunate, but whatever. It says I can have four skeletons total, but it's technically not reading that. That was another thing. Some characters, their skills, it's very evident that it raises. Like with the druid, you can actually summon more creatures. The necromancer's minions are a little bit more powerful than the ravens. I wouldn't say they're more powerful than the wolves. Yet, when you touch a skeleton, it's the druid. The wolves, you know... It lets you get more wolves. Um, that's always fun. We got a ring early. That's actually really good. Rings are usually hard to come by. Maybe you. Can I equip said ring? I'm doing this in the middle of the fight. Forgive me for that. I thought I saw a buckler, but I guess I was wrong. Unless I'm completely blind here. Oh, we automatically equipped it. I forgot this game is smart and automatically equips stuff. Diablo 3 doesn't do that, surprisingly. That's one thing it doesn't do. Okay. So we got a lot of derpy-ass equipment, but I think it'll serve us well. Anyhow, I'll definitely be doing videos on... Diablo 3's Necromancer, Rise of the Necromancer, as it's being called. Um, there's also a Tristram um, remake. They're bringing back the original game 
in Diablo Freeform. They're even going so far to make it look a little bit pixelated, and that the four directionals here... Oh no, sorry, not not in this game, not like this. Uh, this is close to the game. Um, how do I explain it? It's basically like if you were using your directional pad on your keyboard, up, down, left, right, keys. They're bringing that mode of movement back. I think that might get annoying to some people, but I think it's going to be kind of cool to experience it. Too. But you can bring any character from Diablo 3 into it to play it, so that's not bad. And I'm sure there'll be unique rewards for playing that mode, obviously. There has to be a reason to play. That's kind of what they did with Greater Rifts. They're like, well, we want people to do the Greater Rifts not just for the rankings. Who gives a shit about rankings? You're never going to be the best. Too many empty No, rooms. everyone cares about getting the gems and leveling said gems even higher. So that's always the fun part. Um, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. I would like to record more in the future, but again, I'm not sure how you guys feel so much about Diablo 2. Um, it's a great game, but again, it's 25 frames per second, and I know that's a little jarring to some people now in this day and age. You probably have like a tablet you're watching this. You're like, oh my god, the world's ending! I'm sorry, but this is my era of gaming. Um, actually, come to think of it, this was not my era of gaming. Uh, it was Mario. Uh, um, but this was when, you know, games got really fascinating. A lot of new stuff happening. And I couldn't believe my eyes. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Diablo. Whatever Diablo it is. We get the superior one. That's good. And boots. That's better. Now let's just kill Blood Raven. Okay, she's uh, a shield. She's gonna run. She knows it's happening. Can't see you. Come on. There we go. Yes. She dropped a javelin, which is not the greatest, but whatever. Oh, oh. Listen to his own voice. Blood Raven. Rest well. <laughs> he almost laughs because she has the audacity to call her something like that. Call herself something like that, and then he, like, lets out a laugh just on accident. And then he's like, well, rest well, you know, because they believe in a balance between life and death, and that's where their power comes from. Preserving said balance the best way they can. So... Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of this game. Bye. Oh, I think I goofed. Um, I was saying something about, oh, um, I need to have, you know, I, 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 I have four levels right now in Ray's Skeleton. I think the reason it's not giving me another skeleton is because I have the damn, uh, <laughs> I have the damn wand. It lets you summon one skeleton at level one, but yeah. Oh, it still says three skeletons. Huh. Okay, never mind. I'm an idiot. Greetings. Whatever.